Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today we are showing you a few more uh, rock painting um, styles, techniques if you like. Um, these are a few that uh, I've painted recently. Um, painted a rock climber uh, and that's basically because of the, the type of rock that it was and I thought, well, Jagged Edge found one that was kind of broken rock uh, and drew a rock climber uh, climbing on on the rock and I've um, shaded this side in. I've then varnished this so it can go out in the garden uh, or we can hide it. Um, so I'll be putting that in our stone uh, trail in the local uh, nature reserve in my local area. Um, did a series of bears on rocks. This is what we did last year. Um, we did kind of a hide and seek game with uh, different types of rocks and different numbers for children to, to work on. I quite like that rock, it's got holes in it. I found this on a beach once. I don't know what made the holes in the rock. Um, but probably should have used that side instead. Um, but we painted a panda there. Um, now, I've done a, a big leaf. found a huge flat rock, painted a leaf. And then what you could do, and then and then paint some um, some bugs like that over the top. Um, then painted gruffalo um, on a kind of a roundish rock. Um, that took ages. That sequence of different types of uh, browns that you needed to do. Used a very fine paintbrush for that. Um, that's been in the garden for a while now, actually, in the front garden. Um, my daughter didn't want me to uh, hide that one. Uh, then, this is an owl, um, all sorts of bright colours, which is quite cool. Again, um, blank side, but we painted that one kind of a lilac colour. Uh, it's been in the garden, hence the um, the soil, okay, which has been fine in the rain. Uh, and the, the storms, the pig, dead easy to do, really easy design. Um, this is just a bright kind of pink colour from uh, the local hobby craft store that we've got near us. You can get these online. This is uh, what you want is iridescent paint uh, or fluorescent paint. Iridescent just means it's got a, a shine to it. It's kind of a two-tone. Um, and then we just use normal pink and black. A little bit of white when that was dry. Um, if I was going to hide that, I'd obviously put Cheshire Rocks here. You guys had put a stone trail of... Uh, Hope Eglish maybe on the back if you're doing it in the, in the Portadown area. And then I found this rock. This is one we've done last year actually. Um, it, got a, it had a huge hole in it and it just said to me, donut. So that's what we painted and my daughter did a little face on it. Uh, there's another hole here where my thumb is um, to turn into an eye. A few black dots here for the pupils. Uh, again, empty black side. You can just you could write on a sharpie or you could paint something on there a stone trail of hope something like that uh, and then started to paint rocks in the shape of cactus or cacti I actually planted this in a plant pot with soil in to make it help it stand up you could do that with sand if you've got sand in the local beach um, put a bit of sand in there um, but that's become kind of a garden ornament feature um, so there you go, there's a few more rocks for you to have a think about uh, and I'll paint a couple this evening, okay.